And then I like to add a shot of hot water to the bacon so that we want to mix it. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia with Seastar Soap Company and on today's video we are going to be making bath bombs. I love bath bombs. I use them every day. It's my favorite thing to make. I give you my full recipe so if you want to feel free to use it. If you have any questions feel free to comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Let's get right to it. Alright, first thing we're gonna do is add in our baking soda. And then I like to add a shot of hot water to the bacon so that I would want to mix it. Okay, sorry for the noise in the background. The mixer's a little loud. But next we are going to be adding in Halloween clay. Harder. SLSA. And then we're going to add this into the mix. Now we're going to mix the wet ingredients and I'm going to add my shea butter. We'll melt it, pasta oil, and then grapeseed oil. I do mix up my oils uh, with the bars. So if I have my bar soap made of grapeseed oil, I make the matching bath bombs. And then poly 80. And fragrance oil. And last, my alcohol. Now I use 99.9, .9, but I recommend you use at least 97. You know, the higher you get, the better it is. I like to give it a little stir before I put it in the mixer. And we're just gonna slowly add this in. And I like to, I measure by the gram. So I like to get every last drop of my oil if possible. I'm gonna go ahead and kick up the speed while I add in my citric acid. And we're gonna go ahead and let this mix for about a minute or so. I'm just seeing where it's at. I need my mixture moist. I know a lot of people, I'm in a very humid state, so that they don't like to wet it too much in humidity, but I find that I need to. and we're looking for it doesn't break apart and that's good I'm gonna be splitting this in half I'm gonna do half of this a light yellow and then half like a lavender purple I'm not great this is a seven and a half quart I am not great at splitting it in half I should start measuring it but you know I'll eventually learn and I want to turn this into a yellow.
just gonna pop in my little beads. Put in a little bit of powder, kind of press down so those beads don't shift too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some of the yellow on top. And then what I'm gonna do is take my chopstick and I'm gonna kind of loop to do a design on top. I'm gonna pack this. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is slide that under there. I don't take off my alignment plates. Push down. And I like to do it twice. And for about mm, a couple seconds each. Okay. And I'm gonna slide this guy out. Turn it around and pops right into my... All right, and that's all for them. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. I put them in the oven off. It is now the next day. I do dry these overnight in the oven for 24 hours. And I do that because I live in a very humid state and I do not, my AC's running 24 seven. I do not want any humidity to get to these guys. Okay guys, and that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. And without further ado, here's a demo. I can